Hopefully we'll be sitting here celebrating another national championship for the Husky men's rowing team. Head coach Michael Callahan joining us in studio tonight. We'd also have the women's coach Yaz Farouk in studio with us as well. But the women's team left yesterday for the uh, NCAA championships, which are next week. First off, you guys are Pac-12 champions yet again. Won it last week, eighth time in the last nine years. How satisfying was it to win one again? Oh, it was an incredible day. You know, it's to, I, always, I just tell people it was a real purple and gold day. <laughs> but to win one another one with the women's team, you know, uh, it was an amazing performance by our student athletes. We were really excited about how everyone came up to that challenge, especially a week right after the Windermere Cup. Sometimes we're a little bit flat, a lot of energy on right. the volley cut. So to do it on last Sunday was great. A purple and gold day, just like your shoes you're yes, wearing sir. tonight. They look good. <laughs> okay, take me back to a couple weeks. You mentioned Windermere Cup. How important is that week as sort of a kickstart to the championship weeks at the end of May, beginning of June? I mean, what an amazing Northwest festival. You know, it really just highlights the Pacific Northwest. But for our student athletes, you know, it's the biggest crowd home crowd and it really has the energy of a championship feel, uh, feeling you really have to bring out your best and in front of a big crowd so uh, it was an, it was great to uh, our, our students also perform there we were training really hard one of the things we didn't want to come off the gas our goal is the national championship so we were training really hard that week and last week and capitalized so right. it, was a, it was a delicate balance there you know when you go out and you beat a nationally or world-renowned program like Oxford Brooks or others as you have in the past what does that do to a team's psyche oh uh, for our this mantra for the whole year has been maturing and trying to win on our worst day actually and so that really brought we had a close race uh, we had an answer at the end to come ahead and be victorious so it was really a lot about confidence and building a lot of confidence coming into that championship season when it comes down to just maybe one stroke right we're specifically talking about the uh, men's first varsity eight right now I, I want to get to all the boats in a second but when you look at the polls you have UW then Yale then Cal essentially the last three national champions if all three make it to that grand final in a couple of weeks. What ends up separating the champion from the others in that race? You know, in the end, these are all really well-coached pro, you know, programs. They all are really well-trained athletes. They all have uh, put in the miles and, you know, they're really bounded together. They're going really quite fast. So the mental edge is really what we've been working on this year. Uh, we actually brought in uh, Chris uh, Mendez, uh, one of our boxing coaches, to talk really? about the uh, uh, mentality of a boxer in a ring. So we've been uh, using a little bit of uh, boxing and man-on-man uh, -man combat uh, and mentality. It's been great. Anything stand out to you? about you know the way a boxer thinks that is relatable to oh, a little bit of our secret right now okay. so maybe in two weeks I'll, I'll let you know, have some insight but uh, you know he gave us some really great nuggets and uh, we've been using it and uh, our guys are really it, this year has been about mentality maturing and uh, we've capitalized on that can't wait to hear some of those nuggets yeah. uh, you won an unprecedented five national championships in a row fell short the last couple of years how hungry is this team right now oh very you know I think uh, you know this is a technology can uh, town so sometimes we don't like to say we rebuild we reboot <laughs> right. uh, but we had you know you you have cycles and you know this it was a necessary cycle for our program to rebuild to the next level and we've been steadily building last year we were just 0 0.069 about six inches from winning another national championship so this year you know uh, taking the next step is really important for us um, and uh, I think they're hungry they're you know humble hungry huskies as I like to say yeah. and uh, we're you know we're gonna try to put on the last day uh, you understand yourself the program better than anybody I mean, you were a rower in this program now the head coach what is the biggest challenge for you as head coach oh there's so many challenges you know in modern day athletics but you know really is motivating young people every day the, the world's changing right now is keeping on top of our students being you know relatable and keep developing develop Helping them that's that's what we like to think we're like we like to think we're a life program not just the rowing program right and you know there's not a lot of professional rowing so we're really trying to develop people students and athletes and uh, that's always our biggest challenge what do you say the night before the big race to the guys or the day of do you write it out do you speak off the cuff how does little, that go a little bit of all but yeah. you know I, a lot of times I tell them there's not gonna be any big uh, Newt Rockney speech at the <laughs> end but uh, you know there's always something they're always drawing on there's always inspiration and in the end we always tell them it's about each other and pull for each other and don't pull for yourself and when that happens great things happen but quickly I have to ask you about the women's program as well they're back at the national championships the defending national champions they're the top seed there what can you say about Yaz Farouk and the program it itself and the way she's kind of run that program in her first couple of years there what an incredible leader you know she's really empowered those women it's just an amazing place to be right now the work ethic I mean I think the the boathouse is alive with energy I'm you know all the students are working out there uh, she's done an amazing athlete harnessing and you know aligning that program 
program, and they're poised to do it again. You know, I think it's going to come to that last day in the mental edge, but uh, she'll have them right on the edge, and they'll be good. Really exciting next couple of weeks in the world of rowing. You're going to be keeping an eye on them next week, and then also hopefully celebrating a national title in a couple of weeks. No pressure, <laughs> obviously, but uh, Husky head coach Michael Callahan, thanks so much for joining us, and best of luck to you in a couple of weeks from now. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more.